President Biden is pushing hard for a new COVID relief bill, and we just learned new details about what that includes overnight. NBC's Kelly O'Donnell's tracking it all from the White House this morning. Kelly, good morning to you. Good morning, Kristen. A critical week ahead for President Biden's effort to go big on COVID relief. The Democrats have put in writing, lots of writing, the specifics of their plan to fund vaccines, schools, food programs, and lots of personalized financial help. There can be changes made in the coming weeks, so the pressure is on President Biden to sell it, and he did so on the road. At Michigan's Pfizer COVID vaccine plant. Oh, it happens there. Yep. President Biden toured the production line Friday and delivered a dose of forceful encouragement. The vaccines are safe. Please, for yourself, your family, your community, this country, take the vaccine when it's your turn and available. In a new development, House Democrats released the first text of the nearly 600-page COVID relief bill that extends unemployment benefits at $400 a week through August, sends direct payments of $1,400 per person and for each child for families earning up to $150,000 a year, and includes a sliding increase in the minimum wage up to $15 an hour after four years. President Biden pushed Republican lawmakers who call his $1.9 trillion COVID package too expensive. Let me ask them, what would they have me cut? What would they have me leave out? The president put a folksy spin on criticizing Mr. Trump. My predecessor, as my mother would say, God love him, failed to order enough vaccines. New criticism appeared in a British paper that asked Dr. Anthony Fauci about fallout when he publicly disagreed with Mr. Trump. He did things or allowed things to happen that were terrible. Referring to Trump White House aides who had publicly undercut Fauci's credibility. Friday, President Biden updated the vaccine timeline saying the U.S. should have enough by the end of July for all Americans, but cautions that more hurdles like weather delays could interfere. I believe we'll be approaching normalcy by the end of this year, and God willing, this Christmas will be different than last. But I can't make that commitment to you. And this morning, there's a setback for President Biden's cabinet-level team. West Virginia Democrat Senator Joe Manchin announced he will oppose the nomination of Neera Tandon to be the director of the Office of Management and Budget, citing her past tweets and statements as overtly partisan and toxic. Now, President Biden says he is sticking with Tandon's nomination and will look to Republicans to help get her through the process. But with a 50-50 Senate, that nomination is in some peril. Kristen, Peter? Yeah, no doubt about that. A big twist in that confirmation process. Kelly O'Donnell at the White House. Thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.